All right. Let me now introduce a very special guest, uh, Gophers football offensive line commitment, Mauricio Hines. How are we doing today? I'm doing very well. Uh, yeah, good as can be. Good to hear. Um, so I guess we'll kind of start with your whole uh, high school career. You obviously have an interesting story uh, from Nova Scotia, Canada. That's then right. you uh, tra transferred to the States, Pennsylvania originally, and now you're uh, in Clearwater, California, uh, Florida. Yep. Um, so I guess from your upbringing in Canada to the United States, kind of how did that whole process work and what kind of brought you to the to play high school football in the U.S.? Uh, well, it started off, I played hockey. Like, I was a hockey player for 10 years. Um, and one, like, the last year I wanted to play, like, um, the trainer for the team I was trying out for was best friends with the football coach. So I started doing training with him on the off season, just to uh, better myself on the ice. And uh, he ended up, you know, saying, like, just come, I coached the team, come play for me. Like, we can, you know, you can play football. And so I did it. And I played fullback, slot receiver, D end, nose, like, name it. I played it. I played it all. Um, I loved having the ball in my hand. Um, and then after that, yeah, so I quit hockey, went into football. Then I, uh, COVID happened and I couldn't, um, couldn't really play. Try to go down to the States, to St. Paul's, but, uh, you know, I just, I was grade nine, so I was too young. My mom thought it would be best if I stayed at home, and I agreed. So stayed at home, played football there that year. Uh, COVID happened, got into grade 10 it was. Uh, didn't have a grade 10 season, couldn't play football because there was no contact sports. So he started off a flag football league. So I played tight end in the flag football league. Um, and I just started posting clips to YouTube and stuff, YouTube, Twitter, everything I could, because I knew that's uh, that's the platforms they were using. Platforms to recruit. And, uh, and uh, just getting recruited from that. Um, Clearwater reached out. There was a bunch of other schools that reached out. Um, and I narrowed it down to Clearwater and the Hill School in Philly. Picked Philly over it. You know, I thought, like, it was on campus. It was, like, in Philadelphia. I felt like it was – it was all on campus and being so young, I felt like that was a better decision for me. Um, and then I ended up transferring after the first semester, did uh, half a semester, a few months at home, and then came here for spring, two springs ago now. Um, and it was the best decision I ever made, I think. Like, just the development is unlike anything else. And so I just started playing football, and I started right guard here last season. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's quite the journey. So... Uh, would that have been seventh or eighth grade? What was the first year that you played football down, I guess? First year would have been freshman year. But okay. Because wow. back yeah. home, it's not high school, so it's, like, still, uh, I guess they would call it, like, I don't know, it's, like, rec football. It's just, like, there's a bunch of teams in town, and I just yeah. played for that. Okay. Uh, did you just play hockey growing up as a kid, or did you play any other sports? No, I, I played everything. I uh I played lacrosse, got drafted to play uh, on the junior team for lacrosse. I uh, played hockey, played basketball a lot, um, played a lot of baseball. And, like, football was really the last sport I got into out of them all. Yeah, uh, you're a pretty big guy, I guess. What position did you play in hockey? I played right wing. I wasn't a okay. D-man. I, <laughs> I, uh, I could skate pretty well. I was, uh, I was pretty good at skating. And, you know, I just – I liked having the puck. I liked scoring. So, I did it. Yeah. Uh, so now you're obviously at Clearwater Academy in Florida. Um, the Gophers have had a little bit of a connection in recent years with your current teammate Dallas Sims and uh, Ryland Kelly a few years ago and Tyrell Lawrence a few years ago from Canada. Um, how has your experience been at Clearwater, Clearwater Academy? Uh, and how much do you think that relationship that they already had with the Gophers, I guess, affected your recruitment? I wouldn't say – I wouldn't, like – uh, obviously my coaches knew they, the coaches were good guys. Like if I did go there, they would put me in good hands and stuff. Like when I was going through the process, uh, they really liked the coaches. They talked very highly of them, but I wouldn't say that because those guys were going there, it really affected, uh, why I chose the school or like it affected my recruiting with the school. Um, Dallas just actually walked past me. He lives, his room's right there. So, um, that's, uh, you know, it would be good. Like, I always wanted – you know, it would be good to go in college with someone I knew, obviously, but if that didn't happen, it's whatever. Like, I'm not worried about it. Um, but I think that, you know, me and Dallas, we're going to be roommates, and uh, I think it, it it obviously makes the transition easier. 
especially with guys like Rylan was his best friend back home. And uh, when I went on the visit, I got to talk to Tyrell about like, you know, clear water and making the transition here and everything. And um, I got to talk to Rylan about it, everything like that. So like to have someone with a little familiarity to where I'm coming from, uh, it definitely helped on that standpoint to get to like the information I wanted to know. But I feel like uh, a lot of people leave call home first when they're going to college. Like we've all been away from home. So it makes it easier to transition. Uh, did you meet uh, Dallas, I guess, when you transferred to Clearwater? Or did you know him before? And I guess how how was your guys' relationship kind of grown? No, uh, I had no clue who he was before. I came down here. Um, he was the first person in the house that I talked to. He uh, came down. We just pulled in, me, my mom, my younger brother, and he came down and introduced himself to all of us. So I met the, him first. Um, and then, like, after that, it's really history. Like, we've been best friends after since. Like, I used to, like, we hang out. I hang out in his room every night. We uh, just listen to music, you know, talk, relax. Like, every night we're together. And it was like that for the first, I want to say, eight months I was here. We did that every night, just hanging out in his room. Like, and uh, so we got really close. And that's my guy, man. Like, that's my brother. Like, I, uh, you form a close bond with all the guys in your house because, you know, it's like, it's not like you got parents around. So you got your host parents, obviously, but like your guys are the ones that have your back. If you need something, you go to them. Like, so we're brothers, really. So uh, are you guys like in a dorm situation or kind of how is the living uh, like down there? Uh, I live in a house downstairs. They have, uh, we have one, two, we have four rooms upstairs. So yeah. uh, in three of those rooms, where there's two guys in each room and then Dallas has his own room. Uh, and we live with uh, two teachers from the school. You know, they're the best people. I couldn't ask for anything else. Like they're, you know, to allow us to come live here and pursue our dreams is crazy. But then like the people they are when you're talking to them, like it does, it feels like they're a part of your family, you know, especially because you're living with them. Like every time I leave, I just got back last night, got back last night at 2 a.m. Like I, Made or like two thirty, I made it home. Um, and they stayed up and waited for me just to see me. Like that's the that's the kind of thing I'm dealing with here. So we live in a house. But yeah, we're just living yeah, off campus. That's a yeah, that's a fun dynamic as a high schooler. Um, so I guess Nova Scotia is kind of interesting part of the world. Obviously, it's a little bit like secluded up there in Canada. And th did you feel like a big transition all, living now in Florida? It's obviously a little bit of a different climate, or was that kind of just smooth along with the transition for you? No, it was uh, – I was living away from home before, so it, it definitely helped that I had some experience with it. But the transition wasn't that bad. Like, you had to get used to the heat, obviously. It uh, definitely gets hot here, way hotter than it does back home, I'll tell you that. But, um, you know, anything I do back home, like, all I really do back home is go fishing and hang out with my family and friends. Like, I'm not – like, obviously work out. But besides that, like, I'm not yeah. – I'm not much. Um, And so you come here and these guys just show you the ropes. And I feel like our – program in whole like i can definitely speak for this year and last year like it's a family feel every time like these are your guys like it doesn't matter what position you play like i go at it with my uh d lineman every practice like they're crazy don't get it twisted but like end of practice we say i love you like they're like i feel like the adjustment with the people here they pick the right people to make the culture amazing yeah, yeah, I think that's the best part about football is the yep. bond you get with your teammates. Um, so you had an interesting recruitment. It kind of heated up in the last few months, getting offers from a handful of different schools. Um, I guess kind of what stood out about the Gophers compared to every other school you took you talked to, and uh, what about I guess your recruitment initially stood out to you between Minnesota? Uh. Yo, boys, give me up. That's Dallas right there. Uh, my bad, my bad. No worries. Uh, I don't know. The Gophers, you know, like, uh, Coach Simon came down, watched the practice, and uh, after he came down one time, Dallas was like, you know, like, uh, he was like, what players do you got? Dallas was like, look, I got this left tackle. Like, um, and Dallas really told him about me, told him to keep an eye out. He came back next practice. I had a great practice. Um. At the end of spring, I had like a few, I had a few good weeks. I put together like a good week and a half, two weeks. And um, Coach Tom was there for one of those practices and he loved it. And so when I saw that, like he called me the next day, offered me. Um, 
talked to Coach Callahan. I really like him. It reminds me of uh, the coaches I have here. And when I uh, when they talk about their culture, it's the culture that I'm playing with now. Like they say the same things. Like if you want a great team, you build it from the bottom, and it has to be led by the players and stuff like that. Um, and so it's like I fit so well here. And if it's very similar in their culture and their dynamic, and I know the coaching is amazing. Like Coach Fleck, I love his energy. Like he's he's a guy I would love to be around. Um, Coach Callie, I have full faith he knows what he's doing. Like love, I love like love his coaching. Um, and they think I can be a player on their team. Like so, to have that belief in me, that faith in me, and always be like they were always contacting me. I get texts like Coach Fleck every day, every second day, whatever. Like calling with uh, Coach Cali every few nights, like more than I would other coaches. They were really reaching out and showing me they really wanted me. And so uh, I feel like that that really stood out. Um, and they just wanted me to come onto campus, and I was I, – I would I loved it. So, yeah, I feel like that's what really stood out. So uh, Coach Flex, obviously a unique personality. He's a very that's energetic true. guy. Yep. Uh, what was I guess, your first impressions of him? Because obviously you've talked to a lot of different coaches and he, he is pretty unique. Um, uh, When we went on the visit, we sat there. I sat there with my mom and my brother. And as soon as the visit was done, my mom looked at me and was like, Mauricio, you match him. Like, you match his energy. Like, I'm that type of person. I'm always energetic. Always have a smile on my face. I'm ready to go. Like, always hyped up. A little goofy sometimes. But, like, it's like I feel like I have a pretty big personality and so does he. And uh, because that's so similar, I feel like we get along. That's a coach I would love to play for because, you know, it's always easier to adjust to stuff and, like, to get used to stuff if people are similar to you in that area. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, I, like the energy guy is crazy. Like, it just makes you want to be there every day. It makes you want to go harder. It makes you want to, like, all of it. You just want to you want to impress him because, you know, you know, like, if he's like that normally, imagine when he's, like, really happy that y'all, like, won the big game, won a bowl game. Like, his personality then, his energy then would be ecstatic. It would be amazing to see. Like, and that's what I want to do. Yeah. Uh, in my time, I guess, following the program with Coach Fleck, there's definitely a style of player that I think uh, buys into his system. And when he's able to find guys that buy in, it, it seems like it is a very good match. And yeah. Uh, based on what you said, I think you fit right into that mold. Um, yeah, so you mentioned Coach Callahan, and the Gophers have had success developing offensive linemen in the last few years with John Michael Schmitz last year, big uh, Daniel Falele a few years ago. How, how much did, I guess, the program success on the offensive line, and even as a whole, kind of in the past few years, obviously building and building more as a program, from your point of view, was it more the relationships you built with the coaching staff or how much of an impact did the success of the program impact your recruiting? Like, obviously, I want to be a part of a team that wins. And, you know, they've been doing that the last uh, three years. It's like nine and three or something like that. And so that's that's a winning program. Um, and, you know, he uh, I'm pretty new to football, so like – for him to – like, he wants to develop me then, and I have faith that he will do that. I wouldn't say the success of the program had, like, a crazy amount. Like, I just want to win, obviously. But um, I would say the relationships I built, the culture I saw, like, all that stuff really played a major factor into it. And it just felt like – it felt right. Like, Minnesota, it looks like home. Like, all these stuff. Like, I'm not dealing with this hot weather like I, hot weather like I am in Florida. Um, and so I, I just I, – I think it's a fit, really. Yeah, so uh, obviously you went on your visit during the uh, whole Summer Splash event, which is something that's obviously become popular for the Gophers program. Um, I guess if you're comfortable sharing, what, what kind of, I guess, went into your visit and what's something that I guess a recruit goes through when they go on an official visit during that weekend? What was your relationship like with the other recruits? And I guess kind of what was that like on your end? See, that, that really stood out to me, like, the uh, relationship that got you to build with the other recruits. Like, um, so I got there on the Thursday night, and obviously I'm not allowed talking to them, like, not allowed seeing them. I can't sit down with them yet. But uh, they set up a dinner, so I sat down with uh, Brett Carroll. And so yeah. I'm really happy when he just committed. I sat down with him and his mom, and we just, like, you know, we just got to talk and know each other. And then uh, they had a ha hospitality suite set up for the kids upstairs with, like, this food. And so I went up there, and uh, – all the recruits 
that were there pretty much sat around the table until like I got there around eight and we were there until 1130, like to build the relationship with the guys before I got to even see the rest of the thing. Like, obviously that's very important. Um, and then like, obviously I fit in the football, like they said, but like to show me the vibe they did, like I went out on coach flex boat and stuff like that. We just talked about, you know, we talked about everything. Like I got to go, I love fishing. It's my favorite thing. I got to go fishing. Uh, and Coach Nickel, I didn't know who Coach Nickel was the first day and we were fishing. And so, or like that Friday and he like, you know, he was there, like he was walking me around. We were fishing and stuff like that. I had no clue who he was. And then the next day he did a presentation and it ended up being the strength coach. And I was like, you know, like I, I liked him a lot. Love his energy. He's from Boston. Like it's 12 hours away from home. So he understands the East Coast. Um, and then like he's, I'm going to say he's one of the best at what he does. Like, to develop guys in the weight room and he understands it and for him to be a great guy off the field like you know like just a great guy you want to be around and then for him to be pushing you in the weight room like you just want to succeed then you 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 want to impress him you want to do as best as you can especially because you know he has he has your back off the field like I really liked him a lot and so I feel like yeah they just showed me they showed me all the culture and all the vibes that were that we're all about Minnesota was all about and uh, it sold me. Well, it seems like the coach Fleck boat rides become a tradition of the yeah. summer splat. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and like you said, uh, Nova Scotia and Minnesota, obviously pretty similar climates, uh, obviously coming from a hockey background too and fishing. Um, I guess the last question I'll get you out on here. Uh, what's your favorite uh, hockey team? Now that you're coming to the state of hockey, you're gonna see, be see. able to watch a little more. Yeah, it's uh, it's Boston Bruins has been since I was three years old. So like, you know, Coach Nickel, like I I gotta you know my guys from there. Like, how can you not like that team? I love that team. Except I, I'm not really happy with them right now because uh, how do you have a great season and lose first round of the playoffs? Like, I needed them to go all the way. I was very angry when I uh, witnessed that one happen. Um. Words can't describe how mad I was, but, uh, you know, they're still my guys. Pretty sad that a few of them are retiring, like Bergey. I uh, love that guy. He's another Canadian. Uh, Brad Marchand from Nova Scotia. So I played in his home rink. Um, like, but, yeah, that's my favorite team. I can't believe they lost first round. It, uh, I don't know what to say. I can't believe it. Yeah. Well, you're going to watch the best college hockey program in the country oh. now. Pl plenty of hockey. Oh, maybe even – Minnesota State High School Tournament, that's always fun to watch, too. Yes, sir. Uh, but, yeah, uh, thanks again for doing this. Uh, I really appreciate it. Best of luck the rest of the way, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Have a great one.